So it's always it's always important that we try to turn the houses over as quickly as we can, but we also have to keep things as in as good a condition as we can. Uh, so right now the the soil in here right now is uh, it's a little bit it's 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 dry, but you, you dig down and see there's some some moisture there yet. I didn't want it too wet while the guys were working in here in case they step on this. Uh, so what we'll do now is we'll we'll start running some water in here. We'll get this off. We'll put the uh, take the plugs out and put the spinners back on for overhead water. And we'll water this. Let the weeds grow. Water it. Let the weeds grow. And then sometime the end of the month, probably we'll put spinach in. It's a little early for putting spinach in, but then that'll give us a, a fall crop plus winter winter spinach coming out of here. And we do the same thing with the other houses. Uh, we turn them over as well. Um, Ani and Betty, where we had the early greens in, they're in the third and or fourth crops in each one of the beds in those houses right now. And so, you know, all the houses uh, come the 15th of September, or for sure the 1st of October, by the 1st of October, all the houses will be planted back to something different. So either, even like if you look over there, you can see the tomatoes right now. Um, originally the idea was we would get that picked out by the end of August. I don't know, things have been pushed back so far this year. I mean, this week has been our first real week of, of harvesting tomatoes, you know, where we're looking at, you know, maybe a hundred cases or plus coming from just the two houses up here. Before that, they were just kind of dribbling in, dribbling in. So that means we probably got four to six weeks of picking in there. Uh, as soon as we're done with those, you know, we'll rip them out and get that stuff turned over as well. There's always work that's got to be done in between. Like there, you know, not only do the plants have to come out, but the trellising has to come down. Then there's always the landscape fabric has to come up. And then we also have to kind of condition the soil, get it, get it moist. Uh, get weeds and stuff growing um, so we get it in, 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 in a, a little bit better condition to, uh, to plant our winter crops in it. Uh, right. So it's a never-ending thing. Uh, so, you know, for example, spinach, this will be spinach in here. And, and the kale, uh, we'll keep this going until next March sometime to prep this house so that in uh, early to mid-April, we can fill this house up with tomatoes for next year. So it's always a, a rotation uh, year-round. So we always have something going in these houses.